Hello, I'm Doug Reeves. I was born and raised in Waco, Texas, and I built this RV6 between 1996 and September of 2002. It's been flying 17 years. It's got about 1,500 hours on it. And I was a student pilot in 1995 at Denton, Texas, topping off a Cessna 150 when a guy landed his RV6 and he had forgotten his credit card. His name was Dave Spears. And uh, walked up to the pump, started cussing because he didn't have the card. And I said, as a student pilot, I'll put $10 worth of gas in that thing if you'll give me a ride. And he looked at me like Mean Joe Green in that Coke commercial and said, kid, it ain't a $10 ride. <laughs> and he gave me a ride and, a, and I was hooked. So then I spent the rest of the night trying to figure out how to talk my wife into letting me do this. Ordered the tail kit and I think I started in January of 96, first flight 2002. Um, I was a student pilot. I had maybe 20 hours of flight time when I ordered the tail kit. Um, got my pilot's license while I was building. Uh, we had one daughter at the time. Uh, our son wasn't born yet. And it was a hard sell for the wife, and she, uh, she put her foot down a lot. You know, the kids are never going to fly on the plane until they're 18 and all that stuff. And a few years later, she was asking me, can you get the kids out of the house? Go take them flying. I just, they're, they're driving me nuts. So it changed. What, what I thought it was going to end up being, it was nothing like that at all. Um, it turned into a job about 11 years ago. I had a, a thing called the RV White Pages, was, which was really just a, a list of phone numbers of the people in our area that were building so we could network. And the people in North Texas found me and sent me a couple of phone numbers, but then I would occasionally get an email from, uh, I'm in Houston, and uh, I'm in Oklahoma, I'm pretty close to Texas, and I used to live in Texas, put my number in. So it just very gradually grew in scope until it ended up being the whole world. And then, uh, gosh, I don't remember how many years ago this was, but it was a third party messaging app, very generic message board that immediately got hacked and and, and, you know, uh, you, oh, you can only look at so many Viagra ads in a day. Set up some Yahoo groups back when those were online, and then it morphed into uh, the forum software that I've got today. It just slowly evolved over the course of about a decade. Didn't plan it from the start by any means. Uh, tailwheel, didn't have a tailwheel endorsement. Like I said, didn't even have a, a pilot's license. Studied with a... Uh, Alex De Dominicis for a few flights and got my tailwheel knocked out. Started instrument training. That took a long time because life and family and commitments. But I got my uh, instrument rating and then about a year ago, while talking with a friend, he said, you know, uh, I'm looking for somebody to help me do some flying on the side in a caravan and you'd need a commercial. Well, I started totaling up my logbook and I had 1,500 hours PIC in this thing, built over 17 years, 0.3 hours at a time. So, okay, I've got an instrument. I, I studied, self-studied for the commercial, took my commercial uh, check ride in this aircraft. I got my instrument rating and my commercial rating in the aircraft that I built. And uh, just recently, I, I passed the ground school and I'm, I'm on the insurance. I can fly a Cessna caravan. None of that would have happened without this airplane. Um, I, I'm just, I'm not capable of that deep thought that's required for these 20 year long projects. But anyway, some guys do CFI stuff and fly freight at night. I just flew the airplane I loved for 17 years and I ended up in a spot where I could get a job making a little money on the side doing some professional flying. So once again, it just sort of happened. You never know where you're going to end up. Uh, what's next? I think probably a multi rating and then maybe a little second in command in a business jet, but that may be a couple of years from now. But, but none of it would have happened. The, the guy that introduced me to this professional flying on the side is an RV-8 builder. Uh, one of the guys I fly the caravan with, he is building an RV. Uh, one of the other guys flying has an RV. So pretty much everyone in this sphere is tied to this hobby somehow. So I, first and foremost, I'm grateful that I, I fell into this hobby not knowing anything about it, not knowing any of the people, and a chance meeting at a gas pump 
1995 changed my life forever. So I'm the luckiest guy in the world. And see. <laughs>